Today I'm going to show you what to do to keep your uh, Trachycarpus uh, uh, fortuni, or uh, this is a waggy palm here, Wagnerianus. Uh, uh, keep them alive in temperatures that can go down to probably about 8 or 10 degrees with this method. This is the easiest and least intrusive method to keep your palm alive. This will probably uh, gain you at least five to 10 degrees uh, of protection. Uh, most of mine see, seem to see a little bit more protection than that. And so what you're gonna wanna do is, in, like in the previous video, uh, wrap your palm with uh, mini incandescent Christmas lights Hook that up to your standard 35 to 45 thermo cube that we always talk about and then you're going to just want to wrap the trunk with uh, in this case on this palm I'm gonna show you the two methods we've wrapped this one with just uh, this is a six inch burlap you can get burlap on Amazon in any widths that you want and it's relatively inexpensive and the burlap really is really good because it it uh, dries out uh, really fast. It doesn't seem to hold any disease. And you don't really keep the palm really wet like people would think because you have this air gap where the, the lights and the palm fibers uh, protect it there. And so if this does get wet, it, it stays relatively off the, the palm touching it anyway. And if you don't have any ice events or anything, you're gonna wanna keep the crown area relatively uh, free of this material so it doesn't stay wet or that sort of thing. But if you're having an ice event or a snow or something where a lot of ice and that sort of thing is gonna come down in the palm, you're gonna take your other piece of burlap, or in this case, I'm gonna show you uh, the frost cloth material and you're gonna wanna wrap that around the spear area. And I'm just gonna show you the idea, but keep interlacing it around the spear area, keep it tight. And uh, uh, as soon as the ice event is gone, you're gonna take that back off. So you're just gonna keep weaving this around here. Put it all in the spear area, tuck it down in there similar to that but I do it a little bit better if we were actually doing it here but that gives you an idea and then the day after when it warms up and the ice is gone take this back off and you can leave the rest of the palm like this for the rest of the winter and uh, in our case here in Tennessee this would come off the palm about mid-February or, or uh, up to about the first day of March depending on what the temperatures look like uh, here, you'll see this palm is wrapped with the uh, frost cloth material. It's the same thing. And so we got the frost cloth material wrapped all the way up to the top. And just like in the previous videos, uh, you're gonna wanna stick your Christmas lights in the spear area here to prevent that area, uh, keep that area warm, prevent it from freezing and uh, that's gonna keep your palm healthier and uh, hopefully prevent you from having any type of issues in the spear, which will cause you to have a spear pull in the uh, uh, spring. Now these palms are very susceptible to having uh, these rot type issues and the rot occurs when water gets down in this area here where the spear is coming out of and uh, freezes in that area, which will damage this palm tissue. And once the palm tissue is damaged in this area, uh, uh, in the spring when temperatures warm up, fungal uh, diseases will start to set in. Uh, they can grow at any temperatures, but uh, fungus generally starts setting in uh, temperatures above 50 degrees, especially in the 60 degree range. And to keep that fungus from growing, uh, as soon as uh, 
temperatures warm up in the spring, you're gonna wanna come out here with your copper fungicide, spray this entire palm, the trunk around the roots, and especially here in the spear area with a copper fungicide uh, on days when uh, the temperature is uh, 60 or 65 degrees and it's a real dry day. So this stuff will, will dry out on your palm and it's gonna be relatively dry for the next few days and you want to do that just so that kills any of that fungus and prevents any of that uh, issue and uh, uh, usually here in Tennessee I do that about mid-February and again the first part of March so uh, uh, everybody have a good day